Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library and I'm going to bring you some suggestions of books to read or listen to via a Librarian Recommends session on a Thursday. You can download ebooks and audiobooks using our free RB Digital app. If you need help using the app, please take a look at our user guide video, which you can find in the video section on the left of this Facebook page or go to our YouTube channel using the link above. Today I'm going to concentrate on survival stories. Some are fiction, others true stories, but they are all inspiring and thought-provoking. Firstly, I'm going to mention some ebook titles you might be interested in trying. My first suggestion for you is Unbroken, a World War II story of survival, resilience and redemption by Laura Hillenbrand. This is a true story, in 1943, an Army Air Force bomber crashes into the Pacific Ocean. Against the odds, one young lieutenant survives. The lieutenant's name is Louis Zamperini. In childhood, he'd been a rebellious troublemaker, getting into one form of mischief or another. But as a teenager, he became an exceptional athlete, running in the Berlin Olympics. When the Second World War had come, Zamperini had become an airman. When Lewis's plane goes down in the middle of the Pacific while on a bombing run, his great test of endurance begins. He now faces thousands of miles of ocean on his tiny raft, along with sharks, thirst and starvation and enemy aircraft, and beyond that, hellish trials in Japan's prisoner of war camps. How about Papillon by Henri Charrière? This is a memoir of prison breaks. Henri Charrière, nicknamed Papillon for the butterfly tattoo on his chest, was convicted in Paris 1931 for a murder he did not commit. Sentenced to a life of hard labour in a penal colony in French Guiana, he is determined to escape. After many weeks of planning, he manages to escape, sailing a thousand exhausting miles on a raft. However, he is recaptured and eventually sent to Devil's Island, a notorious prison of brutality and disease from which no one has ever escaped, until Papillon manages to escape by sea, floating away on a sack of coconuts. The book is filled with his numerous escape attempts and adventures over the years. Next up is Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. This is a tale about an ordinary man, Robinson Crusoe, shipwrecked on a desert island for nearly three decades. Crusoe details how he manages to build himself a shelter, how he learns to grow crops and make his own bread, how he uses his gun for hunting and how he creates many staples we take for granted, like shovels, baskets and umbrellas. Crusoe turns whatever he can to his meagre advantage. Along the way, he reflects on redemption, deliverance and greed. He meets a young native, cannibals and mutineers before ultimately being rescued. This is a classic against the odds adventure tale. My final ebook suggestion for you is The Beekeeper of Aleppo by Christy Lefteri. This is the story of Nuri, a beekeeper, and his wife Afra, an artist. They live simply but happily in the beautiful Syrian city of Aleppo until war breaks out and destroys all they care for and they are forced to escape. The loss that Afra has seen is so awful she has gone blind, and Nuri insists on her survival as they embark on the dangerous journey through Turkey and Greece towards an uncertain future in Britain, awaiting asylum. As they travel, they must confront their own unspeakable loss and imminent danger. This is a haunting, heartbreaking and thought-provoking novel. And now on to some audiobooks. These really are worth a try. Being read to can be incredibly absorbing and relaxing, not to mention the fact that you can do something else while you listen. First up is Night by Elie Wiesel. Night is the autobiographical account of Elie Wiesel, a Hungarian Jew who was just 15 years old when he and his family were sent from their home in 1944 to the Nazi death camps of Auschwitz and Buchenwald. This is a story of survival, strength, loss and grief. Early on, Wiesel is separated from his mother and sisters, who he is never to see again. A heartbreaking moment, yet done so quickly and in such an off-handed way by the Nazis. 
Wiesel goes on to chronicle his subsequent attempts not to be separated from his father and the cruel horrors he was forced to witness and endure. This is a short, chilling read, narrated in a simple, unsentimental style, which makes the nightmarish events described seem even more shocking. It shows the terrible side of human nature and implores us not to forget what happened. How about Last Man Off by Matthew Lewis? This is a gripping true story of disaster at sea. Matt Lewis has just started a job as a scientific observer on the deep sea fishing boat Sudur Havid. He is excited to use his scientific background to chart the various birds and fish he encounters on his journey. However, what soon becomes clear is that the Suvar Havid ship is under-maintained and not seaworthy, and that everything about the venture is unorganised and dangerous. When caught in a bad storm in the South Atlantic Ocean, Lewis takes charge and tries to help his fellow crewmates as best he can to escape the sinking ship and get on to the three life rafts. Lewis paints a vivid picture of their desperate struggle to survive in the brutal, freezing, remote seas. The analysis of what happened and why is what makes this read so chilling. My next suggestion is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. This story is set in a post-apocalyptic world where all that is left is ashes covering the landscape. A nameless father and son struggle to survive as they trek through a burned, deserted road in America. Their goal is to reach the coast, although they don't know what awaits them there. Always starving, they scavenge for canned goods, look for shelter and try to avoid bandits and people who've resorted to cannibalism. They are always cautiously guarded and only have a gun to defend themselves, the clothes they're wearing, a grocery cart and each other. Even in the seemingly hopeless struggle, there are moments of war warmth and luck or providence. There is a deep unconditional love and care between the father and son that keeps them moving forward. Not a story designed to entertain, but the love between father and son is poignant and gives the story heart. On their journey, they both teach each other, through example, how to live in a world that really is unlivable. My final audiobook suggestion is The Salt Path by Raina Wynne. A couple are made homeless in their 50s, while at the same time finding out that the husband, Moth, is diagnosed with a terminal brain disease. In response to the crisis, they decide to walk the 630 miles of the southwest coastal path from Somerset to Dorset, via Devon and Cornwall. They do so with almost no money to live on, carrying only the bare essentials in rucksacks. And so they begin their journey, camping in the wild. The wife, Raina Wynne, describes the anguished physical pains, heavy rains, cold, sleepless nights, run-ins with wildlife, stomach-grinding hunger, and encounters with quirky characters. Along the way, the couple move from grief and despair to finding strength they didn't know they had. This really is an inspiring read. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next read. It might not be a genre you thought of reading before, but there are certainly some inspirational stories here. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre and availability, or simply browse in the RB Digital app. Do use the comments section below to add your own suggestions of survival stories you think our customers might enjoy. And if we don't already have them available in our RB Digital Collection, we will see if we can add them. Before I go, I would like to thank my colleague Wing for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Stay safe and well, and see you soon. Bye.